Biomass Gasification at Middlebury College. Brought to you by the Vermont Environmental Consortium and the Vermont Chamber of Commerce. So Middlebury, among its many efforts to become more sustainable as a college and a college campus and to contribute to the local economy, decided that they wanted to try to heat their campus as much as possible with local material. And they settled on woody biomass, and that's the wood material that grows in our forests uh, that's not useful for higher and better uses. Biomass refers to biological material that can be used to generate heat and or heat and power. The biomass for us will be the branches and the uh, tops of the trees uh, and then in a mill like ours it will also be the edgings uh, as you create essentially uh, square boards or rectangular boards uh, out of a round product. There's going to be uh, uh, edgings on the side and, and trimmings uh, on the ends of the boards and all of those can go into biomass. The biggest challenge of this plant for us was the supply question because we wanted to be sure that we weren't going to be taking fuel out of the forest and re actually reducing its net capacity to provide that. So one of the things we did along the way is we hired some consultants to do a study of the woodshed. We, we said look at the wood in Addison and Rutland counties and say out of that acreage of the wood that should be used for this purpose, for fuel, what's the net capacity of that forest? And what we discovered was it was about 160,000 tons of net capacity. We're gonna use about 20,000 tons, so we're, we're taking about an eighth of that capacity. Well, we're standing on Route uh, 125, just south of the college, and what's behind me are shrub willows that we planted two years ago to see if we can grow a portion of our biomass. Biomass, to us, was the next alternative that made sense. Natural gas is too far away. Uh, the technologies to burn other fossil fuels aren't much better than they are to burn oil. Uh, and particularly if you can grow your own, like we're trying to do here, we can close the loop. And that's what we're trying to do. Willow will is cut in the winter after leaf drop. It's chipped and goes right into the hopper like a wood chip. There's no extra processing. The nice thing about willow and other things as well is that they grow on marginal land. And there is a great deal of underutilized land in Vermont. So one of the, it would provide potentially another cash crop for people who are farming, who are, uh, so to speak, land poor, have a lot of land, but not necessarily a lot of revenue coming for that land, and would like to keep it open, would like to keep it in use, would like to promote a working landscape. Willow and willow plantations can become another piece of a working landscape. So we're inside of Middlebury College's biomass plant, and what we're looking at right here is the fuel supply system, the beginnings of the fuel supply system. Between the receiving conveyor and the second step, the elevating conveyor, we have a fuel screening system. We complete the conveying system by transitioning from the elevating conveyor into the horizontal conveyor. From there, we're ready to begin the process of feeding into the gasifier. There are two chip metering bins on the front end of the gasifier, which supply four feed screws, which are augers, that supply the fuel into the gasifier box itself. The process inside of the gasifier basically involves roasting the wood chip fuel supply to drive the gases off of the wood chip fuel supply. So in essence, two products come out of this box. Gas, the element of the wood, and ash comes out of the bottom, what remains of the wood. From there, we move into a boiler where we actually burn or combust the wood gas. The gas produced in the gasifier is now combusted inside of this boiler. Air is reintroduced to it, and we have the long flame that you can see inside. We've added this camera system so the operators can actually monitor the flame and the flame pattern from the control room. This boiler takes in hot feed water and produces 250 pounds saturated steam that is then fed to our cogeneration plant. So remember, the product of the biomass plant is high pressure 250 pound steam, and that steam supplies our cogeneration plant. Behind us is a turbine that transfers the high pressure steam to lower 20 pound steam, 
which is distributed to the campus for utility use. And also, we produce electricity as a byproduct of that steam pressure reduction. Our cogeneration plan is currently producing about 450 kilowatts, which on an annual basis produces about 20% of our total campus electricity demand. It was great to see that an idea could come into reality and to have it come from sort of within the college community, not originating from the administration or the board, um, but to have it come from the students working in conjunction with the staff. So I'm very proud that we were able to uh, have a success, which we hope we have. It's an experiment technologically. They want to know, does the technology work? Are they actually getting efficient generation of heat? Is the heat sufficient to meet their needs? Can they regulate it appropriately? Does the equipment hold up? Those kinds of questions. We found a letter that was written to incoming freshmen in the early 1800s, uh, telling them what they needed to bring to Middlebury College when they came. And amongst those things was that they were responsible for bringing or securing a cord of wood to heat their rooms. They had fireplaces in the room. So, so we've kind of gone back to a little bit to that part of our past and that part of this state, you know, that the wood was just the, the thing you used to keep yourself warm. We're doing it here in a, you know, in a 21st century uh, version of that. So, so we're really happy to have that kind of connection back to the past and, and going forward in the future with something like this.